Hello everyone! What's up? This is gonna be a short intro because I already know this video is gonna be so long and I also know that you wanna be in Korea and not here in this room with me right now. And also I look like this and I just wanna spare you this. <laughs> But as a little background, I flew to Korea together with the K-Beauty skincare brand Yepoda. I was there for a week and I was trying to find the best food spots. I mean, Korea has so many food spots, let's be honest. There's probably so much more, but I still think I had some good spots. I don't want to spoil anything, but it was mind opening. So let's just go. Let's go. Let's fly to Korea. After an 11 hour flight, we have finally arrived in South Korea, Seoul, and this was the view we were greeted with. Absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. We are walking to our first restaurant of the night. I don't know how close you are. <laughs> All of these palettes, everything is open 24-7 basically. So much happening, so much happening. Okay, so now we're at Jongsan Kibe, which is basically a bar slash restaurant. It's getting so silent. Okay, so here you order at the table that you see all the food that's here. They have a lot of like just broth, soups, jiggies. This isn't just an iPad to order food. You can game, you can play games against other tables or you can join the group chat. The tables are just writing to the It's Makoli, it's Korean wine and this is peanut flavor. And you drink it out of these bowls. These are not rice bowls, they are Makoli bowls. I don't 100% remember what was this first dish that we had, but I think it was Nurunji soybean paste jjigae. Nurunji is scorched rice and the stew is kind of like soybean pasty and it wasn't that spicy even though it looks spicy. It's not that spicy guys. Next I tried this kimchi chan which is a kimchi pancake and I thought I know this. I've eaten this so many times in Berlin but somehow this tasted so different, so much more flavorful. I was actually blown away by this kimchi john. This next thing I tried, I don't know if it has a name, but basically it's silken tofu with chives, kimchi and meat and just eat a whole spoonful. That's it. Might seem simple, but was hitting the spot. And then probably my highlight of the night was this powdered sugar covered cheese ball. I still dream of this to this day. It's sweet. I need another one. Oh. My god, this looks so good. This is bude jjigae with like cheese and some kinds of meat. And when I tell you that I have enjoyed my bude jjigae, I enjoyed it. I think it was the best one I've ever eaten in my life. Damn, why did I not even blend my jawline contour? Not on camera though. It does a but now you are. <laughs> and then it was time to introduce me to the word of somek, which is beer, aka mek, mixed with soju. If you don't know what soju is, it is a clear and colorless Korean distilled alcoholic beverage. That was definitely not read from Wikipedia. And Xander wanted to show me a very special way of mixing the soju with the beer. We're gonna do it together. We're gonna do it on the table. Three. Just once? Yeah. As hard okay. as Three. As hard as I can. Two. One. What did we just do? Yes, so we uh, had to pose for, for a 20 percent discount. Well, we had to, we didn't know it could be 10. To specify, the restaurant had a game going on, which was if you're cute enough, you will get a discount, but you have to prove it by posing for the staff. But we got 20 because we were extra cute. How did how did you pose? I didn't see. I was like this. Oh. 
she was like, oh yes. Give me that discount. We got it though. So who's laughing now? Taking advantage of misogyny any day. So the first day in Seoul and it is the next day and we are visiting the Yepoda factory. This is where the magic happens and where all of their products are being made. You can already tell they take hygiene seriously when you get these cute little shoes at the beginning that you can dance in and do the business walk in. Yes, I showed Kyla my business walk, very important. Then I saw that they actually have pink robes and I was hoping that we're gonna put them on and I found out we're gonna put them on and I was a happy girl. It actually kind of fit my outfit, I, I was not complaining. I'm dragging out to put this on because I got lipstick on. <laughs> and then it was time to see how the vegan, natural and cruelty-free K-beauty skincare products were made. And it was actually really interesting to see the products being put into their containers and also low-key satisfying, I have to say. <laughs> and that was our time in the Yepoda factory and now it's time to go out for dinner. Guys, we're in Itaewon, which is a very loud district and it's actually like the most westernized <laughs> district. We were told that it's also like the gay district. We're going to Maple Tree House and everything it's so much music everywhere i think this is copyrighted we are there and it's actually korean barbecue and we were told it's really good so let's have some fucking korean barbecue in korea baby So we're sitting here. Barbecue sauce on my titties. And we actually have Korean barbecue for beginners because they're cooking it over there and then they're putting it on there. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Such a good Korean barbecue experience, but this is not how it's normally done. Here's the meat that they cooked for us. It actually looks really good. It's so juicy. Wow. Wow. This is the boat. Both Naomi approve it. We ordered egg souffle because Vanessa especially wanted this. A little bit of everything. Also a little bit of egg souffle because I'm feeling kind of crazy. I don't know if this counts as a food spot in Korea, but I got this lollipop from this guy who wanted me to get into his club. I didn't go, but I got the lollipop. We have one last stop for the night, which is Tangul. Crunchy syrup covered fruits. I can only try the second one. I'm the second flute. Let's see if it tastes like the one that I made. Actually, mine was better. And now we're trying orange, mandarin. What is it? It's so sweet. Oh, I don't know how to feel about this. The next day. I don't know if you can tell. I mean, you probably can tell, but I'm actually at a Korean hairdresser place right now because we're gonna get a makeover. A Korean style makeover with like glass skin and everything. And I'm kind of nervous because my skin is not necessarily the best. I also have no eyebrows. We're also gonna get our hair done and then we're gonna have a photo shoot. Just like a skincare focused photo shoot. So everything needs to look... And I have no idea what I will look like in the end, but I'm just gonna let it happen and pray to the gods that I look okay. Then we got to meet the famous Korean makeup artist, Ham Gyung Sik, and I got to show off my Korean that I learned. Nice to meet you. I don't know what we're gonna do. I have no idea. I don't know if she knows. Nobody knows. She's going away. She's like, I'm not doing this. Chile, what's must do? What is typical Korean? I don't know. I have no idea. Don't ask me. <laughs> she thinks it's better this way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 This thing, it will suit you better. Yeah. That's what she thinks. Cute. Yeah. Yep. You like it? Yeah. We're gonna do pigtails and she said she wants to swoop my bangs to the side. I think it could look cute, but it could also look not cute. I'm still a bit nervous. Guys, here's my final look. Here's from the back. I look so different. I look like a child, I think. So innocent, but I kind of like it. I would just never do this like myself. <laughs> it's so out of my comfort zone, but uh, cheers. 
now we're gonna get our makeup done by Mr. Ham. He already did so many K-pop idols makeup, so I am so excited. Let's hope he's not gonna die because he sees my skin and my eyebrows. I don't know if he's gonna paint in my eyebrows, so let's just see what happens. So first we're doing skin prep. If there's one thing that I learned in Korea, it is in order for your makeup to look beautiful, you need to prep your face accordingly. The three steps of glory. First you need to double cleanse your face. Then you need to moisturize slash hydrate your face. And then you need to apply SPF. And don't you think you can skip a day doing that? Mm-mm. I have very thin skin, yes. Challenge. 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 I'm getting new eyebrows. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> what? Mascara? Yeah, because we want to make it very natural. So that's oh why my you god. Don't use it. It's, uh, super glowy, super nice. So now we're going to the photo studio to take some pictures. I just got my makeup done by Mr. Hum. I think he was really struggling, but look, he did my eyebrows. He said, I'm gonna do your eyebrows Korean style. They made my face look so much lighter than my body. I mean, that's just what they do in general, but I think it makes me look like a ghost. So I don't know if I feel it like 100% comfortable, but let's see how it transfers on camera when we do the photo shoot. So let's go inside. We're doing a touch up again. I don't know what exactly they're touching up. There's nothing to touch up because I look like I'm not wearing makeup, but they're doing it. They're touching up. Also, du siehst yeah. gut aus, aber du siehst halt ganz anders aus. Yeah, ich bin different nur person. Ich bin nicht mehr Naomi. Ich bin. Stimmt, ja, das ist ja auch. Wow. Okay, gut. Hä, aber es ist ganz anders. Oh, gut, nein. Krass. Richtig krass. Okay. Together, very close. Cool. <laughs> That's sexy. <laughs> Guys, we're in the Gentle Monster Cafe and this is what you can buy here. It is actual food. I know it doesn't look like it. What is this? This was 40,000. 40,000 euros. There's like also a croissant inside. I think that's, it's all made of croissant. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is really good. We have um, a sheep. I'm gonna try the butt, okay? Yes. Oh! Tastes like nothing. This is boring. Sorry, Mumu. Ooh, look at the jelly. It's hard inside, like a boiled egg. Is it a croissant? No. <laughs> croissant jelly. The Germans can do better jelly. Wackel pudding. Götterspeise. The food of the Second try. It's like lemon. It definitely makes it better though. There is cheese on it. Is it butter? <laughs> no. Maybe if I reach the butter, but this is not giving. Now it's my favorite. It looks like plastic, it looks like fake food. Ooh. <gasps> It's like Käse Sahne Torte. Oh it's like God. a little bit of lemon and very thick cream, but also a little bit fresh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hello, we are at our next food spot and it's gonna be this hot pot place, Shabu Shabu, which is Japanese hot pot. Anyway, this is a very popular place. Let's go in and have some hot pot. <laughs> we are back with this thing. Apparently this is super common to have this screen in a restaurant and just order via this one. It's actually really amazing to be honest because you don't even have to talk to people. Once again, we're drinking Somek. I actually hate beer, but for some reason I like beer. Okay, so we got um, meat donut. In the middle there's the broth and then you dip it in there. There's also fish cake in there. I got myself a fish cakes. Then we got some mussel, mussel, mussel noodles. We have this egg in soy sauce and we break it up. And then we take the meat and we zip it, we zip it, we zip it. <laughs> More lecker! Shrimp toast. Very hot. Shrimp toast. Shrimp toast.
Hello. <laughs> I'm just eating. Hello. Onyang, how do you like my new microphone? <laughs> do you think I can eat like this? <laughs> and then for some reason the photographer from the beauty shoot also joined us and since he was always saying that I was posing too sexy, everyone started showing him my music videos to show him real sexy. <laughs> And then we started talking about my tattoos and I showed Nika and Xander my kawaii tattoo which means cute in Japanese. And somehow we got to the point where I said I want a tattoo here in Korea and they said well you should just tattoo yepoda which means pretty in Korean. <laughs> and my dumbass said I'll do it. Well Xander bet against me but um well you're gonna see later what I did. Somek. Too much somek. And then we went to go sing karaoke and there was free ice cream and it's always good to have free ice cream especially when you're dressed as a strawberry what can i say karaoke went hard we went off and bts was banging The next day we actually wanted to discover some of the cherry blossom trees. We were actually a little late so a couple of the trees already died. The leaves were already on the ground but being the great influencers that we are, we still managed to take some pictures. <laughs> Hello. You actually didn't see that much from today because what I did today you will see in a different video. Such as buying this Hello Kitty star bag. It's a backpack. But now let's get on ready. I've been wearing this makeup for too long. I got into my shirt that I've been wearing for the past days. As you can tell, I'm here with Yapora. <laughs> you might know it by now. <laughs> Basically this whole journey in Korea is sponsored by Yapora, but I couldn't think of anybody else that I would have this sponsored rather rather have this sponsor. <laughs> so Yepura is a skincare brand that focuses on K-beauty skincare, which you probably also got by now. I have super sensitive skin, I have acne prone skin. It's just all the things that are difficult. <laughs> Ask Mr. Hum. It's a challenge, it's a challenge. And honestly guys, with Yepura, my skin actually is not behaving too bad. I don't wanna like lean too far out the window because my skin is still not perfect whatsoever, but I really have been feeling good lately with using their products and also the values of Yapoda. They're vegan, they're cruelty free, they only have clean ingredients. Yapoda is really a brand that I would stand behind 100%. By the way, I'm using the Calm Balm. This is makeup remover oil. So this is definitely my go-to product from Yapoda. So I'm gonna wash my face now and come back with no makeup. And now I'm gonna apply the C Boost Hero Vitamin C Brightening Serum. This might look a bit brutal when I'm applying it, but I swear it's been helping my skin so much. In general, I have sensitive skin and it just reacts to everything that I apply. So don't be alarmed. I feel so much shame in my face being red sometimes. And it's so stupid because it's literally something I can't control. My skin is thin. Even when I was younger, like people were always pointing out my red face. There's nothing wrong about a red face. I touch it, it turns red, <laughs> period. We're we're applying the Midnight Magic soaks in overnight because it just gives that extra moisture and that extra glow and that extra redness, but only for a couple of seconds. <laughs> oh, and then I'm also just gonna put this onto this pimple right here. This is the spot stop. This is my face. Don't say anything. Don't, don't you say anything. I have a code for you. You can use Naomi Korea for 20% off. Cool, right? I'll put the link in the description, then you can check everything out. Good night. <laughs> Hello, it is the next day and I found a pink sandwich. Isn't it beautiful? The place was literally just called Egg Drop in Gangnam area. I don't know what to expect. I just bought it because it's pink. Oh, it's so moist. Why is it so wet? Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how to feel about this. I think there's like little strawberry pieces mixed with cream. This is the sweetest thing I've ever tried in my life. And I think it's because the bread is actually soaked in syrup. <coughs> Hello, it's me again. We are gonna have some more food. Um, we're gonna have some more food at Wang Chang Market. <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, she approved. Um, it is apparently 
It is apparently a very popular market in Jonggu district and we're gonna eat some very popular noodles by a grandma by Netflix, by Netflix. Netflix grandma. So she apparently was in a documentary and made the noodles there. And since then she's gotten super popular and everyone wants to eat there. So let's look for the grandma. It is very busy, so I hope I won't lose you. I think we're gonna go to Netflix grandma first. My vlog is colliding with Vanessa. I'm colliding with everything. I don't know where the others are. I lost everybody. Hello. The market was stimulating every sense in my body. There was so much to see and smell and eat, but we wanted to get to Netflix grandma. She was famous for her gaguksu noodle soup, which is a noodle soup with hand cut noodles. And as you can see, she does it while not even looking at it anymore. She just can do that blindly because she's done it for so many years. So this is apparently the very famous soup with the grandma Netflix noodles. We also have kimchi mandu. Oh guys, the kimchi mandu was so good. The kimchi in general. Oh, <laughs> the soup I have to say is a little overhyped in my eyes. I mean, the noodles were absolutely delicious, but the broth itself was a little tasteless in my eyes like it was definitely a fish based broth also you don't really have that many other ingredients in the soup so if you're not a fish broth kind of girl then maybe this is not for you hi guys this is naomi john wait i need to say it with more sass hi guys this is naomi john i had a little little style change i would say i'm kidding i could never be her oh yes with the noodle soup with the water a soup yeah i'm not kyla i'm naomi Naomi is a dare. No, 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 I'm Naomi. Oh, sorry, Naomi. <laughs> it works. This is my noodle soup, guys. Naomi, if you see this, I like you. And I want you to want to be my friend. But I'm not good with making friends. So if you see this message, do you want to be my friend? It's a little fishy. It's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right here we have also a very famous place. It's a donut place with the twisted donut. I think it was also on Netflix or something. It's just really famous. The line is crazy long. We've been standing here for a couple of minutes. This twisted donut is very, very popular and it actually looks very basic. Oh, it's also with um, cinnamon and sugar. Wow. It's so chewy, but crunchy, warm, sweet. It's really good. This is not overhyped. The next day we made a trip to see the Gyeongbokgung Palace and we were even given the chance to wear a hanbok, which is traditional Korean clothing that was worn back in history. To be honest with you, first I was not sure if I should wear one because I didn't want to offend anyone or even appropriate the Korean culture, but I quickly realized that the Koreans actually see this as appreciation and are even proud when a foreigner wears a hanbok. So as you can see, of course, I went for a pastel hanbok with pink and purple in it and I thought it was so beautiful. I've never worn anything like this and I honestly felt like a princess. And I was actually blown away by the palace. I did not expect it to be this huge and this beautiful. Even the fact that after so many years it still looks this good, I can't believe it. Hello, we're gonna do a little palace tour by Onyang. Hi! This palace is called Gyeongbokgung and then this palace is from Joseon Dynasty and Joseon Dynasty is the very last dynasty in, in Korea before Japan came and then conquered us because after that they destroyed all the royal system and then all the you know all the all the tradition. The palace was built around 16th century when Joseon dynasty uh, was established. Before that actually there was another dynasty called Korea and the capital was actually in Kaesong in North Korea and then now with Joseon dynasty they moved the capital and then since then actually since the 15th century Seoul is the capital of like uh, of Korea. So this is the main palace so we have like several palaces in Seoul so, but this is main palace. According to the history they used to have like a picnic here. The royal family? Yeah royal family mm -hmm. or when they have like special guests and they would uh, ride a boat here and then they will also like have some dancers there dancing and so mm. on. So this is mainly for entertainment. A party. Yeah, a party area, mm. exactly. And then the dress that I'm wearing is really royal style. So this is really, really tradition. This is what Queen 
wears. So course, you're the queen? queen. I'm the queen. Oh, you the didn't queen. know? <laughs> Nami's dress is a bit modernized because in Korea nowadays, like we really are so proud of our Korean tradition and that we really try to revive Korean tradition because after Japanese came, also after westernization, we kind of destroyed all our tradition, you know? And then now we are really sad about it. So we really want to bring it back. We Koreans are very like proud of uh, people like uh, wearing hanbok because we really want to share our culture. So that's why we are so happy to see like many people from every parts of the world coming to Korea, visit Korea and especially visit the palace and also wear this beautiful hanbok. So um, I might be getting a tattoo now. I said I want to get it when I was drunk. I just stand by my word. So we're going to get it. I want it like right here on the back. Fine line? Do you want a fine line? Oh, then I think this line is good. <laughs> okay, okay. Feels like a fun little activity when there's so many people here. Do you also want friendship tattoo? <laughs> On my belly? Hi guys, it's getting serious now. Oh, poor girl, she has to smell my feet that I was walking around all day. <laughs> I feel bad. She said it's gonna hurt. I don't know many. Uh, do you know the one that makes mom, 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 mom? Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, we're done. Look at it. This is the final result. Look at it. It's so cute. I think it actually is the perfect size. It looks very like cute and small, but also it's still there. Yeah, she got me this. She said she uh, looked me up on Instagram and she realized that I like pink. So she was like, she got this for me. <laughs> And here ends the Korea trip and also this video. I can't even put into words how much this week meant to me. It's always been my biggest dream to travel to Korea, to Seoul. The experiences I've made there, the things I saw, the food that I tasted, the culture that I learned about. I have to say a huge thank you to Yepoda for organizing this whole trip, for doing all of the stuff together with us. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> and to you broccolis, don't worry, I have two more videos that I filmed here in Korea. I have a lot of more Seoul content for you. But for now, I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video and let's end this video with justin bieber How was